Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, where a lot has changed. Not a lot of time has gone by, but I've spent a lot of time with the game paused and working on things like putting furniture into the bedrooms that were just about completed. We've got a couple of doors left to finish building in here, but otherwise, what I've decided to do is, every map I've ever done, I've made all the bedrooms identical. And this time I'm going to make them as random as I can. So every bedroom is going to look kind of personalized. A bed, a shelf unit, a dresser, nightstand, a cloth armchair, which will be the, the initial armchairs. And then whoever moves into these rooms will get a chance to look at the, the, the leather count in there and see if there's you know, a specific one they really want in their room. And we'll try to individualize these things as much as possible. There's a good chance we're going to build shoddy or poor ones in here randomly. So pieces are going to get moved in and out until we get the right combination. So we'll be able to personalize people's rooms a little bit. You know, Hoover's still in the comments and watching. Um, I've hit pause, I, even though there's more I could have done because I noticed something. Yuta walked up and nuzzled Sangria. And I got to looking at the social here and also nuzzled Catherine earlier. I didn't know they could nuzzle more than one person. Now I get it. Because <clears throat> now Sangria has a bonus, right? Nuzzled. So it was a plus four on her, on her, uh, her mood right here. So... I assumed that there was just a one-time thing and the, the pet was named at that point and, and that was it. But apparently that's, you know, it can happen multiple times. That's kind of neat. And then I was um, kind of looking around over here and, and in the same pause screen, we've got uh, Shantigo, who's uh, got his eye on Miss P. And it didn't go so well, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I rejected him. And what'd that do to, to poor Shantigo? Um, needs rebuffed by Miss P negative five not too bad okay but uh anyway so all that has been happening again not a lot of time has gone by but i've set up a lot of things um we're sealed here so i did have someone come out and build the last square of there, here, or something like that. I've got the beginnings of, until we get this mined out, of uh, hay coming over and uh, kibble coming over and some sleep spots for these guys tonight, which is in two hours. And I've got to have more than just the three sleep spots because the pasture for the, let me zoom out a little bit, for the grazing area in general has been extended into this area too. It's not just the boomalopes. So all of them have the possibility of being over there, which is where the grass is. We still haven't got any grass over here. And slowly but surely the grass is kind of spreading from just this strip over here. It's moving its way slowly over here, but by the time it gets to here, we're going to be into fall and, and you know, starting to get cold again. So it's interesting. I, this wasn't, I don't remember it being like this in Alpha 13. Once it hit spring, everything went to grass. Here we're creeping in slowly as it apparently spreads little by little through the map. So a little more natural in that sense. But uh, this is where the grass is, the grazing is. So I wanted the other animals to have access to at least the grazing kind of animals and the ones that aren't trained. But they're possibly going to pop in here and go to sleep too. And otherwise, I guess they'll make the run to the nearest bed that is available until there are no more beds. So the first five are going to grab these. Once we open this up, we'll, we'll set up the perimeter or something like that with beds and then something through the middle and make that work. Uh, door, we got one door in. The other one is being still constructed. We got the three in over here. I got him locked open. We'll just deal with the two for now until we get the second wall in, then maybe we'll take this down to just one door there and one door there. And if for some reason someone comes and tries to blow a hole in our wall, or if they land in here, now that's the other issue. Um, pirates and whatnot can just, you know, pot in and crash. At least they have in previous games for me. I haven't actually seen that happen recently. So I'm assuming that's still a thing. But, you know, they could land in here and then suddenly they get access to the base or they can just land right in here. That would be really exciting. Uh, what else did we did I do last uh, in between episodes? Uh, I'm just glancing around. I don't think 
I think this was already completed last time, so I don't think much else has happened here. We saw Handy finishing off these few doors. I haven't been back to here. There wasn't that much time available. Um, set more mining here. I'm going to put a third battery bank in and rewire this area so we can choose one bank after another and just kind of alternate through. And then go into some kind of a switch room over here. So a main will come off of all three, drop into one, drop into a, a, a bridge that will branch off into multiple pathways with multiple switches once I figure out what those pathways need to be. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to give me just a turret um, switch over here to turn all the turrets in the turret chases because RimWorld still doesn't have a bridge in its vanilla game so that I can jump over a pathway and be a separate pathway somewhere. So I can't run paths that touch each other in any way or they become the same path. So, I mean, it, it may be possible to get power, sneak it down around and all the way under here and come up and grab all of the turrets that way. That may be a possibility. And and then keep all the power to the apartments or the, the, the rooms from up here and branch them down and maybe find some way to keep them from touching each other. But it's just not enough room to do that. I mean, I have to run kind of through this wall here and down along the pathway here to keep from getting into the walls that are over here. It may be a way to do that, I don't know, but I'll, I'll wait till we're actually in there to, to deal with that. For now, we're just going to switch everything manually. But the thought is that with a wire that comes down, hits a, a bus, drops into into four, three or four individual runs with a switch in each one, we could run up here, flip a switch, and all the turrets in the base come on. Flip another switch, and I don't know. I don't know what the other priority would be. Um, kill the power to the prison or something like that, which is something else I got set up. So I, I pause the game and get lots of things done without much happening in here. And I can think, because when I'm talking, I can't think. Here's where I did some thinking. We've got wooden sculptor tables. One, two, three, and eventually a fourth one where this wall is when this wall comes up along this path over here. Give us four art benches, which means four projects can sit on them with four different people that randomly come in and out to do their work while I'm miscellaneous assigning them to go off and do other things, and they come back and their work's still waiting for them. So that's what I would like to see there with a tool cabinet attached to each one and then a storage area which I see they've already started to use I gotta I, I quickly set this back to low and get this one set, set back to the stockpile because this one needs to be sold I believe right was there a reason for that um, it was good but it didn't associate with us is that what I'm remembering um, yeah it, we weren't mentioned in this description so we may as well get the money for that one so that needs to go back to somewhere where there is a an orbital beacon and there isn't one in this area yet but then also the uh, the wooden shelf units gonna surround the bottom of this and in that will be building supplies and we'll start getting building supplies in from all the different sources that we can spare and you get a couple of, of steel and some wood and some granite blocks and marble blocks and whatever and give them storage that was odd my my screen just popped away from me it does that for some reason all of a sudden the game that i'm playing just goes away like something else the computer is doing triggers it's about quarter after five for me right now i've got to keep track of that and see if it's happening at the same time every day in which case there may be something in windows scheduler going on but anyway um so that the materials do not count as a negative beauty by laying in a stockpile like this is. Though this is a negative beauty because it's good. It's, it's positive beauty. But I can hide that beauty, that negative detractant, by sticking them in these shelf units. That's the plan there. So a room like this for the art. Down in here, we've got, the, we've got two of the electric tailor benches. Two should be more than enough. One would probably do it, but that'd eh, be fine. We have two different projects sitting on them, two different uh, tailors doing the work with a tool cabinet connected to each one and some storage in here for something. I'm not real sure. but um, And then potted plants. And then the light was the tough part. I kind of ran out of, out of central space. I could put a light in place of each of these, maybe. I don't know, trying to keep the light kind of central over in here we've got one there and one there 
light it up really well. We've got to get our light levels up in this underground base where bugs will spawn in the darkest areas first. So I have... Uh, so I am guessing. So it was my best guess. Klaus came down here while I was doing all this and got most of the high-tech workbench up and going and brought some of the materials over to the multi-analyzer. So we'll be able to start tearing this down soon as we start to get these built and start to open up this area at least. We've still got the prison to figure out, which is over here. Um, before I get to there, though, I started laying out more of the, of the hospital. Um, basically, a bed what would be a normal hospital bed or a wooden bed marked a hospital nightstand plant and light in a small little area they won't spend much time in here so we don't need large space and was about to lay out or i did lay out the sterile tiles for the surgery and i got to well lots of things to talk about we're going to be a little while just talking about all the stuff i laid out this right here i noticed something that i didn't notice last episode oh that changed that had corners snipped out last time. Oh, okay. Well, that that just blew all, all that I was about to say. It had said two hours. And I think it was two hours or two point something hours. So that's about how much game time I think I've run this. There are a little bit more. But uh, two some hours, it would expand to the next radius. I didn't realize that when I was looking at these last episode. This guy is going to expand to its next radius in seven days. Okay, so what was this one? Fifteen hours. Interesting. Now, last time we saw this, weren't the little corners snipped off? Oops, I think so. But I guess it continued to expand a little bit, but it's going to hit its next radius, which I assume is one square out. Though probably one square out from this square, meaning, you know, it's not going to catch that corner. It's probably what we saw last time. Which means in 15 hours, this one is going to take care of that water right there. This one's not going to take care of it for another seven days. So actually, this is the one that needs to go away. It has hit these four. Boy, I don't know. These weren't marked last time either. So are we really waiting for seven days? Or is it going to randomly hit some of these? Hmm. Here, I thought I'd figure something out. And now it's it's defying what it seems to be indicating okay i'll let them both sit here one of them is going to hit that thing eventually <laughs> anyway i started to or i'm over here the doctor's uh quarters inside the hospital complex along with the surgery over here and the one two three four five uh patient rooms I was about to go ahead and fulfill Tomislav's request of putting in a royal bed here. I had set it in place and, and was about to do that when I noticed something when I clicked on it and looked at the, the material requirements. The royal bed, in case you don't know this, anybody new to the game, we've got a luxurious gold inlaid bed fit for the highborn. Very common, oh, very comfy and beautiful. It fits too takes 50 gold and we hadn't found a use for gold yet so I was about to say well okay you know it was requested and I held off until and then I remember what I held off for gold 20 for the multi-analyzer we've got 50 gold that bed would wipe out our multi-analyzer that's why I didn't do it the first time but um, yeah so now I'm just we'll get the rest of the room built but we'll eventually just have to move their bed into here um, which is a marble excellent and has art on it. So not specific art to us though. Furniture bears a portrayal of an animal jeweler wearing a baseball cap. The well-balanced structure of the image almost conflicts with its erotic style. I've not read this one, have I? This is a cave, to, there is a cave to the right of the main scene titled The Snake. <laughs> Um, Vapor would love that one, wouldn't he? Anyway, um, that's what their bed has on it. <laughs> Maybe they don't want a royal bed anymore. But while I was over here playing with the jail and kind of looking around in here to see what I needed to block off and whatnot, I discovered a little vein of gold. So there will be the possibility of putting together a royal bed. But, um, 
Handy and Tomislav, you can weigh in on um, on your your bed, and and do you still want a royal bed or not? <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, we'll go through and and customize some of these rooms as people move in. I'm guessing that Shantigo is going to be near the kitchen, so he's probably here. That's that's my best guess right there. Where everybody else is, I'm not real sure. Other than Sangria will most likely be wherever the barn is going to be. Kind of something like this setup, but a lot bigger. So a much bigger barn, probably multiple rooms, uh, a room set up for, for for hay storage and that kind of stuff. We'll make a little barn out of it, have fun with it. But uh, that will be you know somewhere up in this area, somewhere above this pathway, probably along the electric room over here. I think the main entrance has got to be somewhere across from this point right here. So somewhere in here needs to be the main entrance, the main hall. And I got to thinking this wedding chapel has worked out kind of nice for parties and for the wedding and possibly another wedding. Do we still have uh, Klaus and Sangria together? Um, social was nuzzled by, had a nice conversation with lover Klaus, 159. So Klaus hasn't moved up yet. He was 59 a while back, so maybe they haven't had a chance to spend much time together. But So there could be another wedding going, and where do we put that in this layout? Will we just quickly take a bedroom and convert it over, or what? And Maybe our main entrance hall, which is somewhere in this area, somewhere above the storage area, off the prison, um, above the production area, which is, let me zoom out a little bit, this grid right, this block in the grid will be production, this block will be storage and probably smithing. I think smithing and carpentry can be part of storage. We'll, f we'll figure that out when we empty this area and start filling in these gaps. And batteries are here. So the electric room is in this area right here. All kitchen there, hospital, and then beds down along the whole length here. So we've got basically from the edge of the electric room over here up available to do something with the barn being kind of in this area somehow too. So maybe the, the main entrance hall is in this area and the barn's in this area. And that kind of finishes off our base other than expanding this way. I made sure that the new jail area left room for this hallway to continue this way and we've already got it continuing down. So we've got access to down here if we need to. But in that main entrance area, whatever it turns out to be, could be seating for a wedding ceremony and a reception area and a party area, though the party area is probably over in here where the pool table and whatnot will be and the food. That's probably the better party area. So the wedding area would be over in this area. And then maybe a lot of the artwork can be displayed in that area as well. That kind of feels right. That's the, you know, enter, enter the base and see art and, you know, it's just you know, grand in this area. So that's the thoughts there. Um, what else have we not covered besides the prison? So I've set up furniture in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rooms plus the the hospital um, uh, quarters, medical quarters, I don't know what exact doctor's quarters, I guess is what we call that. And so that's enough for everybody at the moment until we get a raid and actually start getting more people in, which is what this is all about. Though, any raid that pops in right now, which is why I'm not running the game right now, mostly because we've been a while, and I have a feeling you know, if we don't get one this time, then this is definitely the calm before the storm, because it's got to be happening soon. But what I'm thinking of, main hallway right here, the double wide path, so it travels like this. We've got the entrance right here two entrances into a small room that we can furnish as some kind of a reception or, or a, um, oh, what is it? I guess reception is the word I want. Uh, processing. Processing. I, I, I uh, worked maintenance in a jail a long time ago. So processing here. And then I'm thinking a jail surgery, common boarding type room in here. Lots of beds. Uh, divide off maybe the bottom corner over here for medical uh, store supply storage that sort of thing um, and then you know beds doctor will come in and do surgeries in here and then as they recuperate and 
get to where they don't need the doctor's bed, the hospital bed anymore. We'll have the the uh, prisoner beds in each of these rooms over here. And I'm assuming that as they no longer have a bed assigned to them, no longer have, you know, can 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 sleep in a hospital bed, that the warden will automatically take them and, and place them into a regular prisoner bed and that's how they get moved into their cells that's my guess we'll have to see just how that works how the game's mechanics are in beta 18 versus what i'm used to but i think that will work short of having to try to manually you know do some shenanigans to force them to into different rooms but i think permanent hospital in here and permanent prisoner in there they should bring them to the hospital marked beds when they're injured and coming in and they should transfer them to the prisoner cells when they're no longer needing hospital beds. If it, you don't think that'll work, let me know, but that's what I'm going to play with at first. Anyway, so processing, which is just for role play, they'll take them right through and, and into the hospital beds. Doctor will come work on them, and then eventually they'll end up in these. One issue with this is feeding them. We could have the warden all day long bringing meals back and forth, and that ends Klaus's ability to do anything else in the in the colony, though that is really the role he was going to play short of uh, working the, the comms console, you know, the social aspect of it, but this was the major social um, center of the, of the colony. Um, though we started, the very first research we started to do was package survival meals. The thought was that that would be a a meal that would work in the original little prison cell without it spoiling we could leave all those there and i started leaving them there except that whenever somebody was working on here they would pop in and steal one so that didn't work too well but if we can start making those those packaged meals what are they called again the packaged survival meals and then we can put a a storage spot in each one it'll hold 10 they won't rot so we've got 10 cells need 100 meals there and uh, a, a stack of a stack or two of meals in here so 120 meals maintained will keep uh, will keep this stocked and it, they won't rot and they're always available whatever the prison needs going to be so a stack in each cell and a couple stacks in the, the the communal room here that should take care of feeding without having to to make the long trip in and out the only other long trip is doctor going through to work on patients or on prisoners that have come in. I've got the, right in this area, the warden's quarters, just like the doctor's quarters up in here. So Klaus's room would be in here, though him and Sangri in a relationship kind of makes that a little awkward. We'll have to see how that works, because I want Klaus over here and I want Sangri over there. So I guess they'll have to uh, debate amongst themselves who's going to win that battle, or Klaus never going from 59 up in his relationship with Sangria may end that at some point and there'll be a different pairing off I don't know um, we'll just have to see how that works uh, but a doctor not being in this area could be an issue which means maybe Natalia who is our next best doctor or maybe by now even could be in a place in this area whether it be in this bedroom here or in a another you know single rooms block placed right over here could maybe be the answer to that i don't know we'll see she'll be doing mostly production work so she'll be in either in here or in the machine using the machine table which i'm thinking would work really well in our main storage area along one corner somewhere so figure picture a picture two orbital beacons in this area covering everything in here but we could have individual stockpiles so along the wall here would be a stockpile of steel and along the corner over here could be a stockpile of components and over somewhere else some wood and what have you plasteel can be in here just three or four spaces that's all so there's always a supply in here somewhere for the machining table as well as a little area for carpentry we want to build several beds and be able to pick the superior one and send it off to a bedroom and then toss the rest of them into storage seems like this area or something near this area you know a little space right up here above the storage block might might be the place to do that so i can see rather than trying to work one more production 
category into this production block over here we could toss it over in here and we also have potentially and you know, we've got the this little strip of storage up the whole length of this block here if we this is the sewing area here if we snip it right there and leave this two-thirds for it we still have that area available whatever that is whether it's more storage whether it's you know wide open to the hallway and it's just a, an alcove like this is and that's where the the machine bench really is or that is an area for carpentry uh, to quickly build several beds or several chairs or something like that and then and then uninstall them and send them wherever they need to go and then build another batch so we'll leave a little void right there for something um, I just saw something to bring up I've tossed a tool cabinet into this one where the drug production lab is um, so it's finally time to start using those those uh, steel tool cap or tool cabinets because I did I still haven't built one yet to verify but I'm pretty sure you can't move them you can't reinstall them so I didn't want to waste 200 steel and speaking of steel I've laid out also all of the turrets in the voids in, in the turret chases so that if we do get a bug infestation we can pop open that door and let the turret have fun all three would turn on so we just have to get out of there in time before the bugs go running out attack it these two turrets start shooting it which I'm pretty sure the turret sphere of influence would be well beyond this door over here so all three have access to all three doors whatever bugs come in to attack it the other two are going to be shooting down there and hopefully we can eliminate the majority of them with the turrets in here and then pop in doors wherever we can to try to take them from different directions which is something I got to thinking about when I designed all of these rooms I want multiple entrances I want to be able to put somebody in a door with an auto with an auto pistol bang bang pop out everyone all the bugs draw this direction so when it pops in that door bang bang pops out they all move over this direction just we'll play that game for the the rooms that we can't easily put an auto turret or uh, put a turret uh, chase in we can do it pretty easily in the bedroom blocks it's kind of hard to to do it on these other ones without losing a lot of space so we just don't have to give so you know, prison cells now there's really no I guess this could be redesigned to be something like this, but that would be a lot of turrets. Ten cells, that'd be five turrets, and build them down a common hallway, and we could do something like that. Have an A A block. If you ever play Prison Architect, we could be some way to redesign this to do something like that. I kind of like the 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 center, you know, the spoke and, and, and wheel design of this, but. Uh, that's that's the idea now we're not gonna, not gonna dig this one out yet we're gonna make this one do for a while and we're gonna concentrate on on getting all of our main services up and going over here then we'll start playing with the prison again and you know if if by then if we start getting comfortable over here and we haven't added more of the subscriber list into our base then maybe we'll go out and start provoking someone and you know next visitor that comes in if they're not uh, tribals which are really hard to recruit you know, there was the, am I going to, no. So maybe from the, yeah, this Outlander Union over here, the Irwathotna People's Federation, maybe they're the ones to uh, to bug, because we could probably uh, uh, recruit these folks if we had to. I do want to get more people into the game. It's been a long time since we had prisoners that were recruitable or worth recruiting. So when we do get the game going again and see if we get a raid, we'll see if there's any way to do deal with that. Um, need to think about weapons access to this area. So this storage is not going to have weapons in it. We'll have to find an, another place somewhere else to sell weapons that we want to get rid of. But it won't be here. It's too close to the prison. Too easy for them to break out and go grab guns. So that's not available. We will, though, have steel clubs in the rooms or in the hallways near the rooms. That's that's going to be a thing. Kind of like this, though not as blatant. We'll, we'll find a way to make this happen. Maybe along this main hall here we'll have weapons racks in here. I want folks to be able to run out, swap out their gun for a club, and go in here and club some prisoners, because I don't want to kill the prisoners if they escape. I want to subdue them and get them back in, because we're trying to recruit them. They're our potential new colonists. So the idea of, of, of arming them with pilas or something like that, because they work really well, well, that's going to kill our, our, 
our potential next best buddies. So we're not going to go that route. We're going to knock them out. Our steel clubs are important, and there will be more of them posted so that they're available in more places. Since we are now far more spread out than than we were before. So there is a weapon or a rack in each room, and potentially a couple of them. What I'm thinking is whoever gets say this room can choose you know the building materials of different things and we'll swap those pieces in and and those who don't care they'll they'll get the the best ones of what got swapped back out and eventually everybody will have good quality pieces in every room but i also want probably eventually two shelf units one with personal effects that that person through the comments has requested to be in their room and then one for a, a club and a whatever else uh, to be able to quickly arm and go in case we do have a major prison break with the potential of a lot of prisoners all coming at us at once. So I'm trying to think ahead as I, as I build this. What, what could possibly go wrong? What would I wish I had done 10 episodes before, before that went wrong? It's kind of hard to come up with all the possibilities, but I'm doing what I can. Anyway, is that the majority of what I did? Uh, there's one more comment that came in. Kaya had suggested, because I've been watching the, uh, the animals very slowly trudging through the, the rough-hewn marble floors. Well, it's only a walk speed of 93%. That's not as bad as it could be. Out here in the dirt, what is it? Dirt is 87%, so it's a little faster than the soil. Interesting. But still not as fast as wood. What is wood? Well, wood's only 100%. Yeah, it's interesting. I thought it was a lot slower too, but that's almost the same as a wood floor. But the suggestion was to go ahead and put temporarily, because it takes so long for the smoothing to happen, before they're ever going to get to smoothing, and before we're ever going to really decide that that is our next highest priority of smoothing out the hallways. That's probably one of the last things we're going to do. But go ahead and put wood floors in, at least one strip down the hallways, just to speed up the process. And... I kind of laid that out just temporarily just to test it. It takes 700 wood to give me one path, or one wide path down all of these main hallways in this base. We only have 1,500. That's, that's half of our wood to do that. So now I'm not going to be able to do that, but though we might intentionally choose and then have to manually assign floors um, smoothing, maybe you know something like... You know, just a main path, at least to, to here. And then maybe down at least to, to here. So half of the path out to wherever they're going will be a faster run. And maybe we'll go a little further after that later. But just to kind of get, you know, part of their, their normal pathing to be a little bit quicker. But yeah, I was kind of surprised that it was actually that quick. Right there. It is walk speed 93%. Versus what stone floor? I got some right here. Stone floor is 100%, and wood floor is 100%. Is there anything faster? What's concrete? Concrete's right there, 100%. Huh. I thought there was more of a penalty, but there's not. So, yeah, I guess we won't worry about it. But, so I've got all of this furniture queued up, which means we've got a lot of this wood's going to be used up real fast. And I've got all of the turrets in, I've got light bulbs in, I've got. You know, we've, we've got done with the steel over here. There's a little bit left to do. I would imagine the steel cabinets are... Ooh, yes, right, 200 steel each. We're down to 400 steel. So we're going to wipe out our supplies here real quick. Dangerously quick. So we're going to have to intentionally send Mississippi and Alicia out to some steel veins. And go ahead and compact the steel and get these things at least accessible for our pigs to go out and get them and bring them back. Because we are going to be needing materials here real fast. Let's get this barn going. And any other real important things? I guess even this isn't that important. You know, it's not. Um, though they're going to manually walk over and do this, aren't they? Hmm... Well, they'll get done with it pretty quick, I guess. I don't want to... I wanted to start laying this area out. Hmm. Let me think about this. Let's ignore this area here. So, cancel uh, from that pathway this way. We won't do the storage at this time anyway. So, that can stay. Um, what other mining is not critical right now? I don't want to start the game yet. I want to see who's doing what before we do. I guess we could ignore this for now. Though... That one I lay down, I kind of like to leave it. So let's let them take that out. And 
Was this important? These two were not. Let's just get our, our wire pathway to go across the top of the batteries and out the other end. Same thing here and same thing there. So that, that's fine right there. That, that completes the pattern. Over here, that's the wire pathway. And we'll just clean up and then we'll put in stone where we need to. Yeah. Okay, so that clear. once we get this little bit of mining done and this little bit of mining done down here, then there should be no more mining queued in the base. Then we'll get this mining done. This isn't queued over here. That's just a reminder that the kitchen, will, the freezers will expand later. Get that mining done, and then they're free to go off and find more things, which would be a whole bunch of compacted steel I found kind of hidden down in here. It's not on the surface, but we were, we were able to see the diagonal square in. I noticed a bunch of little stubs sticking out, and then the gold. And then hopefully we get into that one. That one, there's a big one over here. I need to Actually, that's closer, and that one over there, finish that one up. And was there any over here? Some over here, eventually. Though the predators, the big ones, tend to hang around that area. we got a lot over here, though. There is a bunch of it. We may need armed escorts, though, heading up to, into some of these areas, or just kind of watch the area a little bit closer. Okay, well, with that, what are we up to? Tomislav has been assigned to bring to, to do kibble. So he's kind of starting to fill up this area with kibble. I brought a lot more kibble into the game with the addition of, of this barn over here. So we're up to 525 or 7 tiles of 75. 3, 3, and 1 for now. So now we got enough to fill those, those squares. And we may expand this a little further depending on what we find the pattern is. Do these grazers spend most of their time over here because the grass is over here or is the game that smart? Don't know. I have a feeling that they're still going to spend most of their time over here. And this is done pretty well. So I don't need to expand that anymore. Um, otherwise, Tomislav, you're doing that handy. You are hauling granite to wall. I was having to fill in some voids over here. Okay. So, Rabbit, you are sewing area. So we're just doing normal stuffs right now um clear skies 60 degrees outdoors at at 10 p.m no it's 8 p.m at night shantigo cooking a fine meal how are we doing there 43 so you're close to filling that bill and being done and and uh, whistling at missapia she walks by um klaus building a marble Hi oh, oh you're, you're working on the hospital rooms. Good. The, the patient rooms. Sangria is over here hauling marble. I guess Yuta just walked by and, and just got an urge. She is filling in voids in here so that uh, uh, Klaus and Handy can get to work on them. Kathra and Michael have been diligently pumping out uh, more of the, the stone blocks. I pulled the the stockpiles out of this bedroom and spread them out in this hallway out over here so that we can convert this into a, a working bedroom as well here real quick it's mostly ready just a couple of doors and a, and a vent um, manually got them to break these two walls so we could get the doors set and no I didn't I didn't that's a chore to get done probably game day tomorrow get these done so we can get these doors set um, Natalia is making kibble as well. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I did set. I did put a, an alternate kibble on both benches so we can get two people doing butchering or two people doing kibbling. As well, did the same thing over here to get two people able to do marble or granite either way and alternated them. Didn't I? Yeah, put marble up front and granite up front there. We really need both equally now. So, yeah, those those little things that I sit back and I watch the, the previous video while I'm editing it. And I'm thinking, you know, that would have worked a whole lot better if I did that. So I hit pause and the game's still running in the background. I walk over here and I set a bill or I tweak a little thing or, you know, the door that I had accidentally set right there as the end of the chase. Forgetting that door actually belonged clear down there for about three or four episodes. Finally noticed that again and went and fixed it. So a lot of the things that you guys see and you want to comment on, unfortunately, I've already taken care of them but go ahead and comment anyway so that others might uh, see it and read the comments and and interact with them um i feel like we missed somebody so Miss p is digging up marble i sent her up to get a little bit done oh she's the night crew she'll get probably all this done Does she have a meal with her 
gear she does so she'll probably finish this off tonight alicia will be finishing up but she's kind of she got a little bit of the of the stone done that was left over here so i can lay this out for me and she's finishing up what will be the uh, the storage room over here and once this is all done and we get alicia moved out of this area and we get the get this room done at least enough to be able to to talk to uh orbiting ships and to uh I just glanced over my my clock. Has it really been 40 minutes of me talking? That's not possible. Um, once we get these done, we can start tearing all this out. And then we can finish off this block. And then, yeah, it'll start. We'll start seeing a dramatic progress after that. And with that, by way of introduction, I think the episode's over. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, this... Yeah, maybe we'll we'll get a raid drop in and you'll get to see what's going to happen next time. But those of you who are Klaus, you got reddish brown hair. <laughs> I said Klaus, Rabbit, and Michael to uh, to wear cowboy hats since they're the ones that tend to go out and do the most hunting. I thought I'd just fail while constructing marble, marble blocks. Let's really sangria from that job. There, I just wanted you to haul them. Anyway. They do most of the hunting. I thought they would. They, I thought they would look best in cowboy hats. So they're not. They don't give as much armor, of course. As um, did these just fade back in? That was interesting. Um, as the cowboy hats, of course. But thematically, I thought that fit. And I just noticed we've got a bunch of, of naked heads in here. My Klaus is off picking up. He's we're just taking his toque back and grabbing a hat. So Rabbit grabbed a squirrel skin hat, and Michael got the rat leather hat and Klaus got a hold of a turkey leather hat. They be styling. And there goes another pig with a mullet but he's he's going the other direction. So, oh you're going around around the, the deep end there. Okay. So we'll see a little bit of what should have been seen in this episode but there was a lot of explaining to do so you guys who are more invested that's what i was about to say we're following episode after episode and and really just kind of watching this thing morph into what's going to be a really interesting base i wanted you guys to get my reasoning and thinking as to where everything is right now what do you think of this do we come up with a cell block with the uh turret chases in between I'm not going to use the turrets against the prisoners. That's not going to happen. We're not going to invest a whole bunch of, you know, another whole round of medicine to fix a bunch of gunshots so that we can, you know, in case there's a prison break or anything like that. By the time we get there, they will have already left the prison anyway. So really, we're just going to have to deal with them as their cargo pods. Uh, jump to... Boy, those come in quite explosively. Those are Link Skin. Ooh, we've got 121 Link Skin. So there's an, uh, a leather armchair for somebody. <laughs> um, how far away is that? Pigs, you are... Oops, animals. Wild Boar Zone. Not... Where are they at? They're over here. Let's add that in. So, right there. Zone. Expand. Wild boar zone. Let's make sure these guys are in the zone so they can pick them up. I did that so they can grab steel out of here. I guess I could give them this whole area. That eh, wouldn't hurt. That's, you know, if they're going to be in part of the area, may as well have it all. So wild boars, you guys can grab any... What did I just... I'm clearing. No, don't clear. Um, expand. That was weird. There we go. You guys can have that right there that works okay anyway so yeah they'll, they'll go up and bring that in and add it to the add it to something i guess i'd better start until we get there storage let's just open up to all of the uh the now where were those again not raw resources where i would think what you build things out of would be but textiles let's go ahead and open up the whole thing so we don't leave them out there rotting because there wasn't a space over in this area which is set up for them. I've only specifically set this up for muffalo and cotton or cloth. But uh, yeah, cause that's, what, that's why the stuff sat out here for so long. There was nowhere for it to go. Anyway, yeah, we'll let this episode go a little long back toward that hour since we didn't actually do much but, you know, talk. But we'll, most folks are going to be, most folks are 
sleeping. Tomislav is on his way in. Mr. P is what? Right there, making kibble. Let's take you off of that. Work. No longer making kibble for Mr. P. Though that has worked really well. You know, someone's always available to go off. I see I've, I've eliminated a lot of them now. Um, but Mr. P, break and go ahead and dig at marble again. We got our three boomalopes and two of the wild boars in here. Everybody else found beds over there, including some of the dogs down in here. Yep, just dogs over here now, because that's all that's allowed in the house. So the, we've only got room for one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's right, I got rid of one to make a cloth animal bed. I've not made these since Alpha 13. I want to know if they're assignable. I really want it. They're at it again. It does give them a boost in their moods, though. I will say that. I'm pretty sure that that's what maintains the... Uh, oh, got some loving. Okay, I thought it was opinion of wife, but apparently there's another bonus there. But um, I had wanted, when Handy was in this room, to put an animal sleep spot in there. I didn't do any good. Pigs and everything else was sleeping in there. So I'm just curious if I can actually set that back into... Hmm, Handy's room. I think... It would be wise, though, to have a strict policy that no animals are allowed in the hospital. I don't know. You let me know what you think about that. But I have a feeling Tomasov would, would, uh, you know, have some words with me if I let the dogs. Hmm. If I had a door on this side, the dog could come in and leave, and that would work fine. But I want the doctor to be available to go and you know make his rounds to his patients. And I don't want two doors in the same room because I know what will happen. This is RimWorld. They're going to see the easiest pathway in and they're going to cut their way through. You know, want to get over to here, go right through Tomislav's room and wake him up. So we can't have two doors in the same room. Still have shallow water, still have shallow water. So we'll see. We'll see. If I can assign um, Sienna to a dog bed, where am I? I'm lost right there and move that into this room and then take away hmm allow the dogs to go into here and a pathway down to the storage racks and that's it then yeah we'll consider that otherwise that's not going to work we'll see um, so we're set for smoothing in here we're set for sterile tiles to go into here we're set for just uh, stone flooring to go into all the uh, the five rooms of the uh, uh, patient rooms just to keep them consistent. We'll smooth everything else. There was dirt in these rooms too, so that worked out well to cover them. We'll probably stone tile the uh, the prisoner rooms as well. I guess we'll have to... Well, we might silver tile or steel, or sterile tile this one. This is where the surgeries will be and there's dirt in here, so we got to tile it anyway. We can't smooth it. We'll see. So, who's up? Michael has a wonky sleep schedule so he's over here he's been doing pretty good what is the beauty in this room now that all the statues are in and we're pretty clean well there's a little dirt in there but we're smoothed for the most part um in here we are only negative 0.5 that's not bad this was negative five before or negative three point something it was it was pretty bad when we first started this so that's that's pretty good i'll, I'll accept that um you go there you are cutting stone from a block you're really running out of of uh, granite, aren't you? Let's get more of this granite marked. Auto save. Orders. See what, uh, well, only one available that, uh, and you're getting it. That is probably the last granite block, and we're out of granite. I thought about going in and taking all of these granite walls out and putting, redoing them in marble, and just having a contrast the white, mall, white uh, walls with the uh, uh, the dark uh, flooring, though in this case it would be flooring too, so marble flooring, because dirt in there. But we're going to be busting all this out soon. In fact, maybe sooner than I had planned. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need more granite. We need a lot more granite. We have more doors to put in. Boy, got to think about that. I did mark these to tear down. I'll have to manually set them. We do have this wall. That's slate, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's slate. That's too black. Uh, you are sandstone. You are marble. Limestone. And you are 
sandstone. That's about it. We got this little room of granite over here. We got some granite over that slate. And you are granite. We could tear this down. I don't really foresee a use for it. I really don't. Is this scroll still available? He spoils in a day. We might go grab that. Uh, pigs, are you allowed up here? Um, let's go to that one for everything. Over here, pigs, not yet. Let's... Nope, that's not what I wanted. You go back there. No, you go back there. Is this correct over here? Looks like it is. I'm not seeing anything here that's wrong. Um, <clears throat> I want this one. Zones, add, expand, wild boar. We'll give you that little area too. They'll come up over the top, hopefully, and grab that. Otherwise, somebody's going to go butchering and they'll grab it. But otherwise, how? Yep, yeah, did a great job. Mr. Beast got that going. Though, unfortunately, it's marble. And I've got nowhere to put these chunks. We'll go ahead and flag them, but don't know where we're going to put them. Like that. Sangria is over here doing some training, I'm guessing. I didn't see what that was. Oh, she was doing some milking. Is that what it was? Do you have. No. There it is. We were right there. We just made 40. Which means she milked two of them, I think. I've said the Psychic Sooth is ending. Seems like they come in groups of 20. That's what I was magically discovering that one episode. Where are all these 20s coming from? <laughs> that was funny. But off camera, I'll set all of this up and figure out what to what to do in here and we'll move the move the food into up into this area this was just meant to be a wide hallway restricted down for doors that's what that was otherwise um handy you are getting this this area built but i do need to manually get some more of this done where is our next weakest point you bust through here you still got a lot of traps to go through you're probably not going to bust through until you get to here. That's a possibility. I don't know if the game will let them know that there is a wild boar's given birth. R right here. Oh, down there. Okay, we've got wild boar 13 and 14 down in here. Two more piglets. I have a feeling the next time we get somebody in who's willing to buy animals, we're going to go ahead and sell some of the boars. We're getting a little bit um, wild boar heavy on our roster there so they're the ones it's probably time to to start uh, to start uh turning into a little bit of income i guess the oldest ones first i don't get the sense that they have any kind of mood issues with losing a relation social no relation there unlike the dogs but i did notice something wild boar two i think it was animals two right there We've only had two piglets die, and apparently Wild Boar 2 was the father of both of them. So that was one sad boar for a while, but we don't get the sense of mood in the needs of the animals. So I'm pretty sure I could sell them and not have a, a berserk, rampaging father boar angry. Another one just happened right over here. It's triplets. <laughs> 17, 8, 15... 15, 16, and 17 just happened. Yeah, we'll be we'll be selling some 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 boars soon. Anyway, 53 minutes. We've seen what's happening. Give me your thoughts. Randomly generated bedrooms so that they're individualized and personal. Um, new prison idea over here. What do you think? Radiating out from the center versus a cell block. Um, the, the ability to have four artists working simultaneously in and out of the same room. Storage um, hidden by shelving units. Uh, two tailors. Where the clothing is going to be, I'm not sure. Some of it may be here. Otherwise, the raw supplies will be over here. I have a feeling that the main storage room here is where the clothing is going to be stored. We may surround the perimeter with these. Like we could have a real nice storage area. It doesn't have to be just throw everything on the ground. We could have rows and rows of uh, of, uh, of shelving units. Yeah, that's, that's a possibility. Might be kind of interesting. I've never, I've done it that way a little bit. I'll put weapons racks in the storage area and put the weapons on the racks and the storage on the ground, but we're not going to be able to do that here. So we'll have to figure out where we're going to store the weapons safely. 
maybe we'll store them in the freezer. I don't know, but you know the pilas and the and the uh, great bows and those sort of things. I don't think I want them anywhere near the prison. Just it just happened to work out that the storage happened to be near the prison. But we need to come up with a, a secondary storage area somewhere. Maybe something outside. We'll see. Maybe storage over on this side of the river and storage on this side of the river and make them equal so they'll go to both places. I don't know. We'll figure that out when uh, when we get there. But <clears throat> anything else we've talked about that uh, you know, catches your, your attention and want to make a comment, let me know. Otherwise, we are in the 3rd of fall, 3rd of September, so growing time is just about done. So what we have coming in is what we have coming in. We're going to have to do a mass harvest here real soon and bring in all the plants that we can as the, t as the temperatures start to drop. Looks like, though, we're going to have a whole bunch of hay grass making its way in, and that is good. So, because we're going to have a lot of animals to feed this winter. So, <clears throat> with that, yep, yeah, I think that's enough. Oh, one last comment that uh, is going to come up, so, you know, I'm aware of, uh, aware of it. We're going to have a lot more power needs when we get into this. 75 watts per light bulb, lots of light bulbs, and those sort of things. So, yeah, we'll be setting up uh, two more, uh, I mean, three more solar panels in here, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's probably the best place. I'll leave a space, and we'll set up, we'll set them up over in this area a little bit. Get those going, and somewhere on this side of the, uh, of the river, we'll set up more power of some kind. Maybe a bank of the, uh, uh, maybe, maybe even a, th th this comes in chem fuel, right? I'm pretty sure it does power. Um, but yeah, chem fuel power generator. So maybe we'll alternate chem fuel and wood up this strip right here as, as more power available to us. That one, don't remember what it was, 1,000 watts or whatever that made. So yeah, we, we, we have more power needs coming and we'll take care of that. Unfortunately, RimWorld doesn't yet jump power from you know something on this side of the river across to here that's coming in the uh, the 1.0 uh, uh, release of the game that's uh, talked about for there though it's very possible we could hit a steam geyser somewhere in here when we start our exploratory tunnels and uh, see what we can come up with over here but <clears throat> I can feel my voice is starting to go I've done a lot of talking this time and I think I'm going to call it done right here. I'm going to probably micromanage Handy into a couple more of our doors before it's too late and see what we can do there well, you know, in between episodes so that hopefully next episode we'll actually get into some uh, into some action. But who knows. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.